Howdy guys, you 94 and we're back with more Let's Play Minecraft. I just wanted to say the uh, multiplayer server is doing very well. And uh, so far, the uh, we have a little lag in it. Uh, we just got done playing the Tree of Life. It was pretty fun, and uh, I'm kind of worried about the actual gameplay stuff in it. But uh, we're going to try to make it work it out, and try to make it work it out. Anyway... I uh, hope you guys liked this episode. It was kind of cut off of last episode, so here you guys go. Hey guys, uh, well, I knew I didn't want this to be a boring episode, and I'm um, pretty far in the cave, and uh, I hear a skeleton like footsteps and stuff, so I'm gonna put all the important stuff in this chest and go out and kill it. I only hear one of them. I might take my meat, take my sword. And we're gonna slay something. Alright, let's do this. I think it's down that way. Okay, let's go. Oh, there it is. Alright. Hmm. Well. Run, 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 run. Well, I obviously cannot get up. So uh, I'm going to grab me a pickaxe and uh, some dirt. I only have dirt. And uh, I try to get myself to its legs. <laughs> well, that's not good. Here's a zombie now. Um, cover that back up. Ooh. Not as brave as some other people. Some other. There we go. And it's taken care of. Ooh, gold. Let's drop down here. And here's a zombie. Pretty close zombie. I think it's up there. Yeah, I think it is up there. Down here is just lava. Which means we're pretty safe. Somebody's getting closer though. I really like how he gets here through walls. I think they could be right there here. It's a spawner. Wait. That's a uh, three, I think. Would you look at that, spawners? Oh, monsters. That's how close we are to a monster, guys. Alright. So if I go straight through here. Could you look at that? Monster territory. Alright, let's get on our swords, guys. And take out some zombies. Come on, zombie, you can't do nothing. Where is he? Oh, there he is. 
Let's see if how many are are out there. And don't really know all what's happening right there, but we can take out this zombie once we get it mad. Come here, zombie, zombie. Come here, zombie. I guess I was wrong about the spawner. Zombie. Oh, there you are. Ow. No. Got things. Get out of here. Got things. And get out of here. Let's go back through and, uh,. So I'm going to collect that gold very cautiously and uh, this stuff. So, and I'll see you in a little while. I'll see you probably at your home unless we find diamond. Oh man, I thought I was going to be lost in there forever. I'm sorry, I kind of cheated. I had to turn on peaceful because uh, I was only on one and a half hearts there for a minute. And uh, look how much gold I have. Nine, iron, and diamond. I had all that with me, and I'm trying to find my way back and teach you an awesome way how to uh, mine. Yes, mine. Uh, like uh, not in caves, because if you're if you have a cave, then you just explore the cave and find where you find. But uh, an amazing way to mine without caves is using uh, something my uh, cousin taught me. Kind of made it up on the fly, I think. But uh, what you do? take a uh, uh, I guess I can tell you while I'm organizing um, the only thing you need is a um, I guess I put those in there put that in there um, the things you need if I can think straight is a iron pickaxe and two so some torches and two stone pickaxes. Now I never heard of this before, so it's completely on him. But he told me it's a pretty cool way to mine, and it is um you take uh, two stone pickaxes and you mine a straight line and deepen within a cave or deep within a mine, and uh, you take those two and mine all you can with those two and find where you find and if you need to use a shovel or a uh, iron pickaxe you can but you just keep on going as far as you can with them two once you've reached the end with them two then you go back and get two more um, stone pickaxes and uh, I guess I can show you um, but what, what you do after you get that one big straight line then you go into the walls and every every uh, second or every third uh, uh, block down you make uh, make another two mine thing so you cover a pretty big scale of uh, stuff pretty fast especially if you're like lacking in caves but uh, I'll show you that in a minute show you an example of it all right um, so I'm gonna go into a cave and uh, show you. Well, actually, I'm gonna just show you up here. It's on peaceful, so it's okay. So I have my two full health of pickaxes, right? And then I have my one full health iron pickaxe, which uh, you just need that just in case you hit diamond or something. And you go deep within the earth, not all the way down to bedrock, but pretty close. So let's say I was digging down to about here. Then I say, okay, I'm going to use this one and this one. Pretend I'm a little deeper than this. And just keep on going with these two pickaxes. Just keep on going. Find some dirt. You either do it with your pickaxe or do whatever. So you need a torch. You need to put a torch whenever it starts getting dark. Be careful for, um, 
lava and caves because they can pop up pretty quickly especially whenever you just try to hurry up and get through this but once one done you get halfway through you go to another one just keep on going in this and this uh, hallway will be pretty pretty far down so whenever this whole hallway is done go all the way back to the beginning like this and uh, you have this uh, hallway thing you want to start uh, right here you mine two pickaxes this way as far as you can and uh, as far as you can that way now uh, then you go to the next one you mine as far as you can with two pick pickaxes that way make sure you have plenty of torches and stuff now this will make sure you have everything in this uh, outline grid thing completely completely checked and then uh, me and him had two so we went two at a time and we got so much stuff but we didn't get a final lot of diamond but uh, one problem that we did have is uh, if we went this way and we went our pickaxes this way then we wanted to get out of this one we just keep on going and we actually didn't skip the exit and just go on all the way to the end of that one and it was getting really confusing so what I made up on my own is uh, it'll uh, kind of kind of uh, miss out on a couple things but I doubt it oh, not a whole lot but you go one block over and you do this one all the way down so whenever you come to the end you hit that be like okay this must be the end and you walk out and you do the same over here instead of you get skip two and you start here it's dark torch and then see it's not matched up so you hit the wall saying that this must be the way out and then once you got this whole hallway done that means you have completed a very massive scale and me and him didn't even get done with one of these and that's what one is so you need how many stone pickaxes one two oh that's a bunch of stone pickaxes it's just a lot and you'll cover a lot of land and then you can either have two choices you can either go the other way that way with two pickaxes and go out or you could go up a layer and go that way and you'll cover so much rock and land that you'll get so much stuff so that is a very very productive way of mining and you want to go kind of deep but not all the way to bedrock because uh, diamond spawns more likely like uh, the 10th or 15th layer above bedrock something like that but I'm not sure don't quote me on that I'm not a minecraft I'm not Minecraft genius. Ooh, gold. So, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. That's a very productive way of mining. And, uh, we got plenty of resources. So we got a little bit of diamond, some lapis, a lot of gold, and a bunch of iron, which we're going to use productively. In the next video, we're probably going to build a lot more in the nether. Next video. And I uh, don't have any arrows, so I will see you guys later. Next, you know, next, whatever we're gonna do next. So, so I'm gonna go to the. Watch my cactus grow. Mmm, cactus.